Why is it that some companies, despite having a great website, a great store, and good prices, still can't increase sales month after month? I did a lot of research, thought about it a lot, and learned a lot in the process. And guess what? I got it. In today's video, I will be sharing what elements and strategies make people more likely to buy your products. Let's get into this. In today's example, I will be using one of our customers' websites, MasaiCompany.com. I can already tell you that they have truly conquered Mount Everest with it, as their website is the goal I'm setting for today's video lesson. And in my honest opinion, there are seven magnificent trails that have led them to become one of the wonders of e-commerce sites. So let's get to unveiling them. Number one, they prioritize branding. From the second you enter their site, you know who they are, what they sell, what values they present to their consumers. And the more we scroll, the more we get to know who they're talking to. Their target audience is as clear as day, what the tone they use, the words they choose, and the images that perceive their values being displayed in specifically chosen amounts and specifically chosen moments. And thanks to the fact that the first fundamental layer of concrete was set, as in knowing who their target audience is, then they could work on their branding, which based on their USP, so unique selling point, sets them apart from the industry by miles. And they communicate that to their customers later on their homepage. They have a quote, every piece is unique and handcrafted from trees we grow in our reforestation projects. With over a million trees planted, we are changing the way furniture is made. Now, there are many things we can learn from this, and I'm not saying that you should have a quote describing what you do as a brand or who you are as one, but more in terms of the fact of being different and standing out. Because many e-commerce websites will have a badge at the top of their site, most likely in gold saying, we help the environment, we planted one million trees. And that's great. I mean, it sure is for the environment, but that is more pushing proof of acceptance than actually just saying what you do as a brand. You'd most likely see that on fast fashion e-commerce sites that are hated for the damage they do to the environment. Therefore, you know, to even it out, they add the golden badge. Right, continuing with Masayako's website, you also can't help but notice the minimalism of it all, the openness and the space that isn't used on the homepage. I mean, one could splatter a few more pop-ups, sign-up forms, or discount alerts, but they didn't. Why? Well, because it doesn't align with their brand. This one element of their website or building block communicates their values in a light but straightforward tone. So here's the lesson that you can use in your store. Your branding should be visible from the first paragraph on the first page. It'll help your potential customers to understand if you're a good fit for them. Branding is communication through visuals, tone of voice, and the vision one sets. It all revolves around communication. And on Messiah Co's homepage, we can see it through each block and that's what makes them stand out. You see, many e-commerce sites won't go that extra mile, not really understanding what branding per se can do for them. Therefore, pushing more products into the eyes of consumers, most likely even downselling. While great branding itself could deliver those increased sales on a silver platter. Number two, clear CTAs. This is a great example of how you should approach them. You want to treat CTAs as gentle invitations, guiding users toward their next destination. This is thoughtfully placed, doesn't take up too much real estate, and is visually appealing. Here, the CTA is for signing up for their newsletter. They didn't use the common action-oriented words such as subscribe now, get, or discover. And that's mainly because of the tone of voice they use as a brand. So by this, you can really see how important branding is, since even the language used on a pop-up button stems from the brand personality. Now, at the bottom of the page, we can also see a clear CTA that refers to the same action, subscribing to their newsletter. Now, the template of the sign-up form here is meant to entice customers to keep exploring Masayako and not to lead them to a completely different landing page. 
everything that needs to be done is available right in front of the consumer, leaving no room for distractions. So the lesson for you here is to keep your CTAs as gentle invitations that provide relevant content or information that may spark a consumer's interest. And most definitely doesn't scream, click me now, please. Number three, straightforward navigation. Now let's go back to the homepage. I'd like to talk about how smooth the navigation is on the site. At the top, we can see the menu, which is split up into product categories. Very simple. Then we have a search icon and a cart icon. If we go to a selection of the menu, like seating for example, we can see subcategories that have their subcategories as well. Once again, this keeps everything organized and easy to find. Just remember that not everything needs a separate subcategory. Instead, some of them can be simply put in others, or like in their example, they used more seating. Right, let's click on accent chairs. As we can see, there are various accent chair types to choose from, made from different materials and in different colors. So each of these blocks could represent a separate product or a collection of products, making the navigation seamless, complete, and simple. Let's choose one of these products and open it up. All right, so now we can clearly see that their accent chairs are split up into various collection types, like the one we just clicked on. It opened the Messiah Co. lounge chair collection. So Messiah Co. decided to split everything up into subcategories with various collections. This approach is quite common and this really sparks that in-store experience. Why? Well, because it is quite familiar. Any larger supermarket, like let's say Walmart, that you go into will be split up in exactly the same way. From far, far away, you will already be able to see boards highlighting which type of items you can find on each aisle, like school supplies, cleaning items, or drinks. Later on in each aisle, you will have various collections suiting that category. Like in the school supplies aisle, you might have pencils and pens in one section and then notebooks in the other. So that's one of the reasons why the website is so easy to navigate, since it's split up in a way that we are familiar to, and it helps the consumer easily figure out where they want to go. Another thing that makes their navigation a lot more straightforward than other e-commerce sites that I've personally shopped on is the fact that their filtering and sorting options are right up there, and they don't open any extra cards on the side that can be a distraction. They also limited their filter options to only a few. This may be because of their product types. Since on apparel shops, you'll definitely see a whole bunch of more options to filter out. But either way, don't add unnecessary filters since it can be quite time consuming, keeping the consumer focused on filtering rather than shopping. Now, I remembered another brand that does this sort of filtering, and that was IKEA. You've got all your filters clearly categorized at the top. There's one more thing I'd like us to talk about, and that is the search icon. So there are actually two popular options for search on e-commerce sites. One is the conventional search option of simply inputting the keyword and clicking enter. The other is displaying your search results as you are typing. Let me show you what I mean by this. So Messiah Co. uses the modern search option that displays the products as you're typing. And this is a popular one amongst big e-commerce players because they know that this one feature can increase their conversions on their site like this. This modern search option is like letting a kid into Wonka's chocolate factory. They have everything that they've been looking for provided to them in a little window that they can look through. It's one thing, but it really plays a big part. And the lesson for you here is to keep your navigation as straightforward and familiar as possible. You want your customer to get from point A to B as quickly and smoothly as possible, excluding all the unnecessary distractions. Right, let's take a look at Messiah Co's product page. Number four, great product images. Immediately off the bat, I noticed the high quality images they created for their product. The consumer also has the option of viewing it in 360. Let's go take a look at how they constructed that. We have drag to rotate and click to zoom. Nothing lags, even though this is a pretty big 3D file. If we zoom in, we can see each and every detail on how they weaved the pattern. 
Now, they went a step further, view in your space. This feature lets you view the product in your own home or office just by scanning the QR code. If you're an Amazon shopper, then you're definitely familiar with their AR view, which lets consumers place various items in their house virtually before buying them. Now, some may think that this is overkill. However, it all depends on the products you sell. You see, in the online world, there's no touching, feeling, or examining the product from three centimeters away. That's why, first of all, high quality images are a must. We're talking multiple views that include the zoom functionality. You want to offer your customers the in-store experience of a product as much as you can. Suppose you do sell products that take up a lot of real estate and you do have high quality product images, except you're not there yet to play around with 3D or AR view. In that case, I definitely recommend providing your consumers with in-depth measurements. Messiah coded this extremely well. Instead of just putting down the parameters of the product, they decided to do a quick sketch of it for better visualization. This helps the consumer visualize the size of the product and how much real estate it would take up in their homes. After this, they also have product information formed in a very clear and appealing way. A few badges with the main points describing what their product is made of, where it can be used, and so on. Now, their approach on this is definitely more of a designer approach, as in you will see a lot of other brands simply bullet point this, and that's perfectly fine. However, this one extra step can really be a convincing factor. Overall, definitely take inspiration from how they optimize their product page. Please remember that the product images and videos you provide is the main way your consumer can interact with your product on your website. So bring out that quality and sales will increase. Number five, customer support. So in the corner of each and every page on Masayako's website, there is a chat icon. And also at the bottom of the product page we're currently on, there are various ways of reaching out to them. You can see how much they prioritize customer support. And by using a live chat option, they transform the digital space into a virtual store where expert support is just a click away. This makes it very easy to engage with visitors as they explore products, guide them to check out and address any concerns they may have as well. So being there for the customer at any touch point they may need you, therefore increasing the possibility of a conversion. You see, the idea here is you want to reduce the friction as much as possible and facilitate the purchase by making it easy for customers online to remove doubts and at the same time, give them information about the product or the brand. When selling remotely, you need to emphasize that human touch much more than in a brick and mortar store. Since Masayako's website is built on Shopify and they use our live chat product, I just wanna quickly mention the cool features they can use to increase their e-commerce sales. So with the Shopify and live chat integration, you have the possibility of seeing your customer's card directly. Yes, directly in the chat, meaning you'll have their whole cart view right in front of you, which not only eases the whole conversation if they're asking about a particular product they have in their cart, but it also gives you the space to cross sell items that might be of interest to them. And when you do want to cross sell something to your customers, it's just a product card away, which let's be honest, is visually so much more appealing than a long link. Making customer support not only accessible and convenient for customers, but also for customer support reps. Let's click on the chat widget. So as you can see, Messiah Co's agent is currently online and ready to help us out. The lesson here for you is to leverage at least one of the many available customer support options to provide that in-store experience to your customers. You know, sprinkle that human touch, let your customers know that you are there for them. And at the same time, choose the customer support channel that works best for you. Now, getting back to Masayako's site, let's say that we chatted with the agent, we're sure of the product, and we put it in our basket. What appears then? or what should appear on any e-commerce site where the business owner wants to increase their sales. Number six, cross-selling. Let's click add to cart on our Messiah lounge chair in the Serena pattern. And this opens up a card pop-up from the right side known as the Ajax cart. So Messiah Co has chosen the Ajax cart instead of the cart page option. Why? Is one option better than the other? 
Well, you see, with the Ajax cart, every time the consumer adds something to their cart, it will update in real time without them having to refresh the page. And that's exactly what they'd have to do if the consumer would be led to another URL with the cart page appearing there. They'd have to refresh the cart page to show their changes. And like any great e-commerce site today, they scooped up a bit of real estate for cross-selling at the perfect time. These add-ons could fit nicely with the initial product or complement it. Apart from that, they've made it quite obvious that a great excuse for an add-on is the 10% off the consumer would receive on their second item. So what can we learn from this? Well, first of all, if you have an Ajax cart option, I definitely recommend it. Second of all, cross-selling isn't just pushing add-on products in front of your customers, but they A, should fit the initial product and B, shouldn't be pushed too often. Placement and timing are key. Number seven, multiple payment options. And of course, lastly, payment options and payment comfort. Listen, since you're asking the consumer to reach for their wallet and part with their hard earned cash, you might as well provide as many options as possible for them to give it to you. The old credit card and debit card options are still here, but that doesn't mean you want to ask that of your customer. It's easier to double click and use Apple Pay, for example, than get up from the couch, go to your wallet, take your credit card or debit card out, input the details, double check the details, and then click purchase now. You get my drift here? So that's why it's really not surprising that on Messiah Coast's site, they provide various payment options for the comfort of their consumer. Now, Messiah Coast's website is made on Shopify, I've checked, and their checkout page is a very popular option with the whole layout being consumer friendly, like by providing the possibility of the consumer adding a discount code or a gift card during checkout. I know that's a very basic feature. However, where it's placed is another important factor. And here it's made as convenient as possible for the consumer. So always remember that by giving your consumers multiple payment options and by making the checkout page as straightforward as possible, you're doing yourself and your customers a huge favor. Right, you now know seven ways to optimize your site to increase your e-commerce sales as an e-commerce business owner. And I need a big chug of coffee. You have everything you need to go and start increasing your e-commerce sales. I wish you luck and let me know how it goes in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.